Ouch! Joy Behar just fell out of her seat live on air. It was like my big moment. It all went down, literally, when the 79-year-old daytime TV host made her entrance on Thursday's episode of The View. Come on, just stop, just stand. <laughs> Let me tell you, these chairs are dead. <laughs> These chairs move, These you touch it, and you're, and, you're, and you're on the ground. Yeah, she like really ate it. But I love how her co-hosts were there in like a nanosecond to help her get off the ground. I need a warm up, you know, you're just yeah. sort of thrown into it. It's happened to all of us at one time or another. 25 years, that has never happened. <laughs> <laughs> And don't worry, guys. Joy says she's totally fine. I went flying. You yeah, did. You did. They're also high. We can't even say, you know, you can't have another glass of wine. It takes a glass of wine to get in the chair. <laughs> yeah. No, you're I'm all right. Drink Let, you're fine, yeah? I just missed the step as usual. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. <sighs> well, that's our show today. Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Of course, the ladies of The View have been in the headlines a lot lately. People like a train wreck. Just last week, Sherry Shepard, who was a co-host on the show from 2007 to 2014, threw some not-so-subtle shade at another former View panelist during a stop by Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Which View guest was the biggest disappointment once you met them in person? Oh, I don't know. I can't, I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, McCain wait. That translates to Meghan McCain, who co-hosted the daytime talk show years after Sherry's departure from 2017 to 2021. I think that's why people like the show is they know it's not scripted and they know it's not, we're not being phony and I'm not trying to placate to an audience. Sherry later poked fun at her shady comment, tweeting about drinking on the show and getting in trouble. Quote, all I can say is don't drink and then answer questions. No, it was all good. Then there's Whoopi Goldberg, who recently returned to her chair on the panel following a two-week suspension after she said this on February 1st. Let's be truthful about it because the Holocaust isn't about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. That's what it's about. Later that night, Whoopi addressed her controversial comments on The Late Show. It upset a lot of people, yes. which was never, ever, ever, ever my intention. I feel being black, when we talk about race, it's a very different thing to me. I think of race as being something that I can see. So I see you and I know what race you are. And the discussion was about how I felt about that. I felt that, that it was really more about man's inhumanity to man and how horrible people can be to people. Whoopi also issued an apology on Twitter, saying in part that she was sorry for the hurt that she caused. We try to do the best we can. But the following day, Kim Godwin, president of ABC News, released a statement to ET that the EGOT winner would be suspended for two weeks, giving her time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. And when Whoopi returned, she opened up about her time off camera. I listened to everything everybody had to say and I was very grateful and I hope it keeps all the important conversations happening because we're gonna keep having tough conversations. Yeah. And in part, because this is what we've been hired to do. And all that echoes what Whoopi told ET back in September. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. This is our, this is our gig and this is, you know, our gift from the world because not everybody gets to have an opinion. Not everybody gets to say, this is what I think and here's why. Yeah. Yeah. And let's talk about this. This is a really great job. It's a mm -hmm. really great job and I'm gonna speak for us, but I think we're lucky as hell. 